everyone, welcome to Makeup Monday, and today is an empties video, a rare video for me. I prefer to do Project 10 Pan, I feel like there's more meaning behind it, but there's another video related to that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get through some empties video. I'm gonna start with the earliest ones and then go through the more recent ones. So let's just start out with, I have some perfumes. So these are the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner Perfume Roller Balls. I used up the Sinner Roller Ball a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, those are the three roller balls. I prefer Sinner to Saint, but that's just me, right? And I have a Mario Badescu Drying Mask, which is the brown one. And I really like Mario Badescu products. I like the whitening mask, but the drying mask is so nice for active acne because it helps calm down the redness and it helps take care of those painful ones that you get on occasion, making it quite ideal for me. Uh, one of my biggest problems with my face is my acne scarring. So I have the Dr. Brand Dark Spots No More Lightening Serum Concentrate. If I had a more stable income rather than just the random freelance things I do, I would be more keen to buy this again. I really like this. I also like the light, the laser effects brightening serum from Dr. Brandt. They're expensive products, but I find them to be worthwhile. You can get them cheaper on occasion on outlook.com though. Then speaking of Dr. Brandt, here's the pores no more pore refiner primer. I didn't like this as much. This is the one Dr. Brandt's product that I just, <clears throat> of the many I've tried, this one just wasn't for me. Um, I don't really, it says that it's instant mattifying pore refiner. It does take away the shine from your face, but I didn't feel like it blocked the showing of my pores as much as other primers have done. So that one just wasn't for me. My favorite mascara of all time, this is Lash Domination Bare Minerals Mascara. It's not, it doesn't claim to be waterproof or water resistant, but I find it to be so. It's a very fibrous mascara, which gives me the volume that I love because that's what I actually prefer. I'm not, I don't really care about length. I care about my volume with my lashes and this gives me that and I can cry and I don't have to worry about it going away but because it doesn't have any kind of silicon or silicone or anything in it to make it waterproof it comes off like a non-waterproof mascara love this double duty jack black face moisturizer absolutely adore SPF 20 enjoy it and again I really want to um have a repurchase on that. In fact, that's, I have my second one right here, which I'm also low, running low on now. And whoop, stuff's falling. Uh, then I have the Maybelline Eye Tattoo in Barely Branded, which was amazing. I cannot wait to get this back again because it was so convenient to just throw on a lid and any color crease would look perfect with it. It was great on its own and it lasted all day. This is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate, which was a um, perk point from Sephora. And this is an intense exfoliator and it did exfoliate. I don't think that I would buy the real, the full size though myself because the smell was very intense and it lasted on my face. And um, if you like the scent, then that's not a bad thing, but I did not enjoy the scent. And um, it was an okay moisturizer. It did exfoliate, not moisturize. It did exfoliate, but I, I feel like I, anything with little scrubby beads is going to exfoliate decently. So I just wasn't blown away by it. It was good for what it was, not something that I would um, repurchase again. Wasn't blown away by it. This is the Summer's Eve Morning Paradise Cleansing Wash. I really enjoy the Summer's Eve stuff especially when it's girl time. You gotta get that taken care of. Then the Equate um, Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. I enjoy these. They take off makeup. They're good for in the morning 
um, when you haven't done anything just to take off you know the night oil and stuff from your face and any serums and junk that I put all over my face anyway now for some more recent stuff I just ran out of my Ole Henner skin to truth serum collagen booster I loved using this I liked how it made my face smell I loved the citrus I loved how it made my face feel and um, I felt like my skin was like it felt firmer is that what I'm looking for firmer I'm gonna go with firmer then I have the fat girl slim bliss skin firming cream with caffeine and this was nice for my thighs I used to put this on my thighs at night you're supposed to use it twice a day but I really enjoyed how it made my legs feel and made them look really nice. I don't have a big cellulite problem just at the very top where I have the most um, collective fat just because I have big thighs. But I really enjoyed using this and it made my thighs look a lot nicer and smoother and I'm sad that it is gone. Then there's this stuff. Oh, this stuff. This is the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleansing Treatment Mask. I did not like this. I It took me forever because the smell, first of all, the amount that you get with this is just, it, this is in the middle of my hand, you know, and compared to, let's see, compared to the giant tubes of masks you can get that were, lot better feeling to me this says that it's a mud mask but it was more like a gel mask even though you wiped it off and the smell was horrendous it took me forever it was a familiar scent but I didn't like it and it finally occurred to me what it smelled like it smells like cosmetic warrior from lush like with the grapeseed oil and olive oil and stuff in it but it did not do nearly as good for my face because this is the one that was supposed to be good for acne prone skin and combination skin. And the Lush Cosmetic Warrior Fresh Face Mask, it's a bigger tub and it does more for your skin. And if I'm gonna tolerate a terrible, horrendous smell, I want it to be nice on my face. This just, it didn't do anything for me. I, my face didn't feel cleaner, my pores didn't feel better. And when you spend, I think this was $26 or $27, you kind of want to feel like you're getting something out of it, especially when it's a face mask. This is the Mederma Advance Once a Day Scar Therapy, and you're supposed to use it every day for months to help reduce your scar stuff. I feel like it did. The only problem I have with this is one, it's really expensive. It's like $25 for the tube. But unlike the Glam Glow Mask, this actually does seem like it's doing stuff, especially after the first month, month and a half that you're using it. And it's really good for immediate scars. So if something happens and you immediately put it on there, it helps reduce it relatively quickly. But um, you have to use it back to back. And so um, the amount of time that it says that you need to use it, especially for older scars, is like three to four months. This is not going to last you three to four months. Like maybe if you only have one or two scars, but when you when I'm using it all over my face, which I was to help reduce my acne scarring, and I have bug bites all over my legs and stuff like that, this just didn't last, and it becomes an expense that I've I've had to do without. This is the Pure Silk Luxurious Shave Cream, and. I like rust proof cans. Any shaving cream that's not rust proof is not going in my shower. Um, and yeah, it's shave cream. It did what it was supposed to do. It was moisturizing, didn't dry out my skin, and didn't cause me to break out in anything. I'm happy. And it's inexpensive. Even better. This is the Clear Scalp and Hair Total Care Nourishing Shampoo. My favorite shampoo. I've been loyal to this since it came out. Um, in 2013 I want to say three years ago two years ago this has been amazing I love what it does to my hair I 
enjoyed using both the conditioner. I have started using a Selsin Blue twice a week, uh, once or twice a week, depending on how oily my hair is. But um, other than that, this really does um, niceness to my hair overall. I just have a dry scalp and so I need, I found that I need a, a shampoo that a Selsin Blue or a you know, head and shoulders, something like that for dandruff specifically. And the last thing, the most random thing out of the bunch is my last appliance light bulb. If you watch my vlogs in August, you will know that on the 3rd of August, I had to change my light bulb and I realized that this was my last one. And I'm not throwing this away because I have to take it back to the store to buy more. So that was my empties video for the last couple months. Um, <clears throat> I hope that you, you know, got some reviews out of it or whatever. And again, this isn't as <clears throat> come as condensed as a Project 10 pan would be, but I guess a lot of people like these. Um, I'm not one who likes to typically hoard trash, but I had originally planned a Project 10 pan and then I didn't end up doing Project 10 pan. I was just collecting junk and then I had more junk, so I was like, here we go. So if you enjoyed this empties video, let me know if you, or tell me what kind of videos you would like to see and follow me in my August vlogs. I will see you for the next Makeup Monday and FCA Friday.